I'm a former visa officer and these are my top tips for applying for an F1 student visa in 2023. So when you apply for that F1 student visa, what are the visa officers looking for? Well, they're looking for evidence that you, the visa applicant, is going to go to the US, you're going to stay there, you're going to study in the program that you say you're going to study in, and then afterwards you're going to return to your own country. It seems simple enough. Well, how do they decide if you're a person that's going to do this, they look for what they call ties. What are these ties? These ties are anything that is going to bring you back to your own country after being in the US. Everyone's ties are going to be different. There's not one tie to rule them all that's going to make sure you get your visa issued. You're going to have to figure out what your ties are, what your strengths are in your application. Okay, ties, this word can be a little bit confusing, so let's talk about them as strengths rather than just ties. What can your strengths be? Well, maybe your strengths are academic. If your strengths are academic, that means that you've been accepted into a prestigious university in the US that's got name recognition, that has high entrance requirements, and that is going to show that you have been a good student, you've gotten the grades, you've gotten the test scores that are needed in order to get into that university in America. Okay, now what might be an opposite example? Someone who's gotten into a university, maybe a community college, which is a valid school to study in in the US. However, that doesn't show that you've been an exceptional student in your home country. Why? Because community colleges usually have a higher acceptance rate. Uh, they don't have as many requirements for test scores and grades. So having been admitted into a community college, does not show the visa officer anything about your previous performance as a student. Getting into a prestigious university does. So maybe your highlight is going to be academic, but on the other hand, maybe your academics aren't so strong. Maybe your highlight is your finances. And since you're a student, most students are usually on the younger side and might be still receiving support from their families. It could be your family's finances. If that's the case, when you go into your visa interview, you know that that's what you need to focus on not the academics of the school that might not have the name recognition, uh, that might not actually ring a bell with the visa officer. Don't focus on that, rather focus on your, fam your family's finances, which are strong, stable, and a huge tie in your home country, okay? You have to know what's your highlight and then how to focus on it. That's something that you can watch all the videos that we've got on YouTube, you can find more information, tactics, ways to do this, pivots. You can also book a consultation with us. We're former visa officers, we've worked all over the world, we speak many different languages. We know what it takes to get your visa issued by highlighting your strengths, your highlights, during the visa interview to make sure that the visa officer has the information they need in order to be confident enough to issue your visa.